GarageBand currently has a glitch where if you're automating your volume, especially at the start or the end of a track, yeah, as you can see there, it doesn't work. It goes straight from the low volume to the high volume instead of ramping up. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's go. Now, like most annoying bugs, this doesn't happen all the time. As you can see here, the vocal track below is ramping up perfectly with volume automation, while the drummer track is not. So how do we work around this? It's pretty simple. But just quickly, if you've never used automation before, it's a great way to balance out your volume. All you need to do to use it is tap on the icon and tap automation. And you can actually add points by sliding in the top left, and you can add different points throughout your track and adjust the volume up and down to get Get a nice balanced mix. And it's also great for doing fade ins and fade outs as we're doing in this one. So let's zoom in on this drummer track and see what's happening again. We're going to tap and go to automation. I'm going to zoom in by spreading two fingers just so we can get a closer look. And if we play at the moment, check it out. The volume is not moving with the automation as it should. Let's solo this now. And what we need to do, the hack, the workaround, the trick here is to add an additional point. All we need to do is tap in the top left to slide that one on and then add a point somewhere in between. For whatever reason, this bug happens when you don't have enough, in GarageBand's opinion, automation points. So now when we play this track, take a listen. you get that perfect fade in. And if you're having the same problems with your fade outs as I did in this case, yeah, you can do the same thing. Just add that point in between. Hopefully, by the time you watch this, this bug doesn't exist anymore. But if you're frustrated because every time you use automation, it doesn't work, this is a workaround that's gonna help you in the meantime. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing your best music using GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad, check out the other videos in the description.